We are fortunate that we have a display of such integrity here in India today and uh, in the last twenty-four hours, the steps taken, revolutionary steps taken by our Prime Minister is leaving law-abiding citizens in ecstasy, but those who are conducting their business with a little bit of hanky-panky are in a panic. Not everybody who has some currency in their hands, which they don't know what to do with, the highest denominations of currency in India have been made defunct. Not without warning, there have been signs but, you know, people don't take those signs. And this has left a lot of people in a quandary, not necessarily because they're involved in crime or whatever. Unfortunately, we have been conducting nearly fifty percent of transactions in the country below the rad radar of taxes. There are many reasons, people will always argue, because a whole lot of people had this feeling that the taxes that we pay are not coming back to us in the form of benefits of infrastructure, services and others because there is a history of statistics talking about how much percentage of the money that government intends towards a certain project actually hits the ground, rest simply vanishes in the air. So because of this, people have developed a certain attitude of, I don't have to pay taxes kind of thing. I think a time has come for this nation to get its act together. Though there will be difficulties, though many people will be hurt, though many people will be left holding a can that they don't deserve to hold, but we have to go through this a uh, little bit of a difficult surgery for the nation because India's economy is going to blossom and if this blossoming has to find… be on stable footing, it's important that everything is above the ground, nothing is under the ground.